we are directly in the center between Los Angeles and San Francisco. Seven generations of this family have had the privilege of being on this property, and it means everything. And the way it's cared for means everything to us. This is where we got to play when I was growing up. I'm Steve Hurst. About eight years ago, started an all-natural grass-fed beef operation. For many years, there was a battle over the possible development of this property. In 2000, we pursued the largest conservation deal in the state's history. We wanted to have the property in excellent shape in perpetuity, and that's the commitment we made with the conservation easement. We needed the right management in place to carry that out. And quite frankly, I, th I think Cliff is like right out of central casting. He's the cowboy. My name is Cliff Garrison. I uh, started out as a cowboy here back in 1986. My dad and granddad were also cowboys. I manage Hearst Ranches and I manage a crew of cowboys. Basically, we're raising grass-fed beef. We have a cow herd that's uh, nearing 2,600 head of mother cows. To get your thoughts aligned and your principles aligned with a company like Whole Foods, it is a breakthrough. I am Mike Asaga with Whole Foods Market, the regional meat coordinator. I've been with Whole Foods 20 years. Growing up in Illinois, I had the opportunity to experience and work on many farms. Upon my visit to Hearst Ranch, I found out how unique and how different their ranch was compared to any other ranch that I've been on. Most companies provide product year-round. Hearst has developed more of a seasonal program. Seasonal programs in beef are very unique. We're very proud to be pioneering a specialty program. Customers should take advantage of it while it's there been a really good relationship with people like Whole Foods that understand the seasonality of grass-fed beef. The partnership that has been developed with Hearst Ranch and Whole Foods Market speaks to one of our core values, creating a win-win partnership for both Whole Foods and one of our suppliers. The things that amazed me about the way that they were raising the animals on the ranch was that they're raising them the way that Mother Nature intended. The cattle uh, properly managed through these different pastures. They are what actually stimulates a lot of the growth of the grass. I mean, it's so fertilizing, you have to know when, at what point during the season, to move cattle off of one pasture and onto another, and then these pastures can recharge. It's just a component of respecting the cattle and the land by knowing what the land needs. It'll tell you if you listen and if you go look at it. So you've got every kind of ecosystem going, and of course the cattle use all of it. They are thinking of the property first and they're not overstocking the land. They're not building their business around us. They're building their business around their sustainability here at the ranch. Cattle, if left alone, can live off the land at their free will without any supplementation from us. So we try to let cows be cows, give them a lot of space to do that. Old cowboys, they'd always say, move them slow, get there faster. The old way of doing things is likely the best way. You can tell how cattle are handled. It's an imperative to do it with care. It has to be treated and raised in a natural manner to have uh, a fantastic taste. By raising it on grass, it is the most natural way for you to, to taste a piece of meat. Consistency is where we really shine. We come out with a great quality product and we come out with it year after year. We've been on horses. We've been dealing with cattle, and we've been doing it all our lives. The cowboy lifestyle lives on in a big way here. We're managing it like it used to be managed a long time ago. Telling this story about how we feel about the land and how we manage it and how we you know, take the beef as far as we can to the ultimate consumer, it's the best eating experience, is something that Whole Foods understands. I mean, we're walking down the same street. We might as well hold hands.